so in this lecture we are going to study elimination of left recursion so in the previous lecture we discussed what is left recursion and right recursion so we are going to study now how to eliminate left recursion okay so as we know recursion can be of two types one is left recursion and another one is a right recursion right so why we want to eliminate left recursion this is the first question why we want to eliminate left recursion what is the problem so what is left recursion left recursion is this right a drives a alpha or beta so when the leftmost symbol in the rhs is same as the left hand side then that is left recursion and what is right recursion alpha a and beta so when the right rightmost symbol in the lhs in the uh, rhs is same as the lhs then that is right recursion right now what is the problem in left recursion and why we want to eliminate left recursion so if if we represent this uh, as a function we can write something like this correct so here the problem is suppose uh, this is we are calling this function now this function is calling this function again recursively right so there is a recursive call so due to this recursive call this could lead to infinite loop right this could lead this could lead it to infinite loop so this is the problem in, in case of left recursion therefore we want to eliminate it and if we make the pass tree so it will it will look something like this or right so for this grammar this production it will be this and for this production the pass tree will be this right now so first we are discussing uh, left recursion okay so and if we if we uh, if we recursively uh, make the pass tree then we will get something like this a alpha a alpha and then if we want to stop it we will get beta here because a is also producing beta right so a beta and we can write it in form of regular expression beta alpha star right so in this way we can also say that this is left recursion and this is recursively calling a itself right and this could lead to infinite loop so that is the problem in case of left recursion now let's let's discuss a right recursion so for right recursion we can draw something like this alpha beta or we can get something like this a then alpha then a then alpha then a and something like this and then if you want to stop it then beta so we will get alpha star beta right in case of right recursion so and if we represent this as a function calling so it will be something like this alpha then a of a like this so in this right recursion this uh, this alpha we can treat this alpha we can treat this alpha as a condition right if this condition satisfies then call this function right and if this condition does not satisfy then don't call this condition don't call this function again so this could act as a condition this alpha could act as a condition here which will not let this function to go into to get into infinite loop okay that's why we want right recursion grams 
we don't want left recursive grammars or left uh, grammars which are which are having left recursion we don't want that because left recursion can lead to infinite loop it will again call in this so this could lead to infinite loop but in this case of uh, right recursion here it is here alpha can be treated as a condition if it satisfies so then call it then call this function recursively otherwise not so we can stop this function to get into infinite loop therefore we we want right recursive grammars clear now one point you should note down here is there is a class there is a class called as top down parser so we will study all the parsers in the later class okay so we have something called as top down parser so this top down parser they don't allow or work properly if the grammar is left recursion if the grammar if the grammar is left recursive or having left recursion then this top down parser class they don't work properly with the grammars which are having left recursion they don't work properly with that so that is the problem that's why we don't want the grammar to be left recursive we don't want that we want right recursive grammars so this is the reason we want to eliminate left recursion and now we will see how we can eliminate left recursion okay so we want to eliminate left recursion without changing the language okay so let's take an example and i will explain you how we can do that so so for in left in case of left recursion we have something like this right this is same as this so this is left recursive or left recursion okay now we want to convert it into right recursive so we can represent it like this beta a dash and a dash can produce epsilon or alpha a dash so if you see carefully we are not changing the language we are just converting this left recursive grammar to a right recursive grammar we are not changing the language whatever it is producing whatever this is producing this will also produce that okay so you can uh, like from left recursion what we get uh, from the past tree we were getting something like this b alpha beta alpha star right this was the regular expression we were getting like this so beta alpha star and if you see this right recursion grammar you will also get beta alpha star so this is not exactly right recursion but what we are doing is we are just eliminating left recursion here we are eliminating left recursion okay so after eliminating we will we will get something like this so if you see that you will also here get the same expression alpha beta alpha star so it can produce alpha a star then alpha then a star and then epsilon so you will also get here beta alpha star so the meaning here is we are not changing we are not changing the language but we are converting this left recursion grammar or we are eliminating this left recursion grammar into this grammar clear now let's take few examples and you will get to know how we can eliminate left recursion so just for uh, for purpose for eliminating this just i am writing this like we are converting into this beta alpha dash and a dash epsilon and alpha a dash okay so we are converting into this let's take an example suppose we have something like this right so we have something like this now if you see that this is left recursive because the leftmost symbol in the rhs is same as the lhs now we want to convert it into into we want to eliminate left recursion right so 
so as you can see this you have to compare like this so you can take it as now if we convert this so we will get something like this so you can consider this as a right here a and this is also a and this is alpha plus t is alpha and this is beta right now we just have to represent into this and we can eliminate left recursion so we can write something like this e t e dash right and e dash will generate epsilon plus t e dash clear now if you carefully see what we have done here is so this is left recursive and this is also left recursive so we have considered that a is this so this will be alpha if we compare to this so this will be alpha plus t will be alpha plus t will be alpha and beta will be t only right and a is a so this is how we can compare okay so now if we if you want to write like this so a will be e and beta here is t and a dash that means e dash so e dash will produce epsilon similarly here and alpha is plus t alpha is plus t and then e dash that means e dash a dash here and e dash here so we can convert it into uh, we can eliminate left recursion right and now it is right recursive now it is right recursive how it is right recursive because this this uh, rightmost symbol in the RHS is same as the leftmost uh, in same as the left hand side right same as the left hand side so this is now right recursive as we have eliminated what we have eliminated left recursion now it is right recursive we have converted into right recursive clear now let's take more examples and you will get to know how we can do that how we can eliminate this so suppose we have something like this okay and we want to convert it into right recursive grammar so as you can see this is left recursive so we want to eliminate it so we will get something like this so 0 1 so this we can take it as a right and this will as alpha and this whole is beta so we have to convert it into this format right a drives beta a dash a dash drives epsilon and alpha a dash so if we write in this format we will get something like this 0 1 s dash right beta beta is 0 1 0 1 s dash s dash will, will produce epsilon or alpha that is 0 s 1 s and s dash so now this is right recursive we have eliminated the left recursion clear let's take more examples so we have something like this l drives l comma s s okay so we have something like this now if you see this production is fine there is no left recursion and right recursion in this production right but here it is left recursive here it is left recursive so we have to remove left recursion so what we what, we have to use this so what we can do here is l drives now here this can be considered as a this whole is comma s is this is alpha right and this is beta so we can write s l dash that is beta l dash and l dash will produce what epsilon alpha is comma s and l dash so we can convert or we can eliminate left recursion and we can produce right recursive grammar clear and suppose if we have something like this suppose we have multiple recursive productions in a grammar we have something like this alpha a1 or a alpha 2 or a alpha 3 and so on 
and we have beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 and so on. So how we can convert it? We can write something like this. A drives beta 1 a dash or beta 2 a dash or beta 3 a dash and so on and for a dash it can drive epsilon or alpha 1 a dash alpha 2 a dash or alpha 3 a dash so this is similar to this here we are having single productions and here we are having multiple or many left recursive productions and now we have converted this into right recursive right so in this way we can eliminate left recursion and we know the reason why we want to eliminate left recursion because there is a class which is called as top down parser and this top down parser does not allow or work properly if the grammar is left recursion okay therefore we want to eliminate left recursion without changing the language so in this way we can eliminate that clear